Hello, let's talk about how you're going to approach your thumbnails for your abstract element of art and principle of design project. So first, I already uploaded a sample of the brainstorm list and my symbols that go with that list. So just to kind of review that real quick, um, you know, I chose these top five. One of them was moving into my new home. I'm very excited about that. So I drew a house with a little moving truck and the sign that says sold. That can actually be a third image, an extra image. But I drew that to symbolize that process of moving into a new home. Same thing with traveling to Connecticut. I did a plane and a suitcase. I could have done a Connecticut flag. I could have done clams because clams are big in Connecticut. There's lots of things I could have done. Uh, but I chose the plane and a suitcase. Same thing for all of these. The money for the helicopter ride because it's expensive. There's not a right or wrong. As long as you have enough of the images that you have interesting shapes to pull from when we get into our thumbnails. So now the thumbnails themselves, okay? Let's talk about the thumbnails themselves. You have to have the bounding box. You need that shape, that three inch by three inch box, okay? Because remember our final size is 12 by 12. So proportionally a three inch by three inch square is what we want for our thumbnails for this particular project, okay? So, and you're gonna end up doing three of them to start with. So the first thing to remember is let's discuss some of the vocabulary that was listed prior to this, and that's overlapping. So when we talk about a shape overlapping, here's, I'm gonna start with a simple shape, which is a triangle, right? And if I wanted to overlap a circle, right now, I, can, I can't tell which shape is in front of the other shape. If I want that circle to overlap that triangle, all I have to do is erase that section. And now the circle overlaps the triangle. So that's something that you need to understand when we talk about overlapping or underlapping. The triangle underlaps the circle. So that's important in a good design. We don't want everything spaced out and nothing overlapping. We want those shapes to overlap. The next thing we talk about size variety or a variety of shapes and sizes. So if I had a bunch of shapes that were similar to a triangle, then I would have different size triangles, right? And it's okay to have some of the same size triangles, but you want a variety as well. And that goes through the whole process. And I will talk more about that as we get going. But we don't want just circles and, and triangles. They can get pretty boring. We are going to use these shapes to make a more interesting thumbnail. Okay, that's important. We're gonna use these shapes to make a more interesting thumbnail. So let's start off. I'm going to look at my house. I'm gonna start with my house. It's a very simple shape, and I think it's a great way to start. So in my first thumbnail, I'm going to draw let me see, I'm gonna flip this over so y'all can see it better. I'm going to draw a house and I'm just gonna decide how I wanna do it. I'm gonna do it kinda of at an angle because diagonal lines are dynamic and make a composition have more movement and energy. So I'm gonna start off by making that house kinda of crooked. All right, next thing I'm going to do is look at some of the other shapes over here. And I'm going to overlap some of the shapes. Let's start with the dog. I don't want to draw the whole dog because remember, I don't want any recognizable images. I want non-representational abstraction. So I'm not going to draw the whole dog. I'm going to draw the dog's tail. So I'm going to come back over here and I want it to overlap something. So as I draw the dog's tail, I'm going to make it overlap by erasing the line so now it overlaps that shape of the house. At this point, I still see a shape of the house. It's still recognizable to me. So when I overlap more and more objects on top, that house will start to change and not be so recognizable as a house. So if something looks good once, repeat. There's nothing wrong with repetition. So as I do this again, I'm gonna repeat the, the tail. And maybe I'm going to have one big one 
going in the background behind the house and have it be super big so that you could barely see what it is. So now I have some sense of kind of layers happening. I got a part of a tail going behind the house, in front of the house, a smaller one. I have that variety going, but we need more shapes. Okay, remember this is gonna get larger. That's a lot of empty space going on in here when this gets 12 by 12. So I need some more details. I'm gonna come back over here and I'll look for some shapes. Um, I've got a plane, that's good. I've got a flag, helicopter lines, I've got money symbols and the dollar sign. I think the dollar sign is a good one to talk about. So just like letters or are, are number signs or hashtags, we don't want anything recognizable. So I don't want to stick a money sign right there. Okay, I don't want to stick a money sign in there because that is recognizable as a dollar sign and we don't want that. So instead, I'm going to do things like deconstruct it, take it apart. So I am going to start with just the S part of it and I'm going to put it in here, but I don't want to see all of it. So having it go off the page or off that shape where all I see is a little bit of it it's not so recognizable as an S. And maybe I take the bars that are on a money sign and I turn those into stripes in the background. So that I have different shapes going on. So, so far I think it's off to a great start. I need some more things. This area, if you look right in here, this area is pretty empty and this area is pretty empty. That's our negative space. We want to fill it up with something interesting, not necessarily stripes, but maybe we could do the windows of the plane or maybe the, the wings of the plane. So I'm going to start by playing with the windows. And I want them to overlap. And I'm going to have one last one go off the page. Off the page is so important. Letting those shapes go off the page is a better composition, so you can see that better. So as I do that, I'm going to add something else. Let's see, maybe the wave of my landscape that I want to paint. And maybe I repeat it. Maybe I make it bigger right here. And it helps match that S. All right, so that's how we make a thumbnail. At this point, the next stage in the game is to go through and play with different compositions using the same shapes repeated in a different way so that we get different shape, different compositions in the other two. So I'm going to do that on high speed and then talk about that, talk about that later. So let me situate this a little better. Now that I've done my drawing right here, I have three different thumbnails to look at. So I need to decide which one I like the best and which one I'm going to use. So there's different attributes about each one that I like. I do like the, the lots of tails in this one. I think I, I like that one a lot. I do like the fact that there's shapes in the background. Uh, I feel like this is my least favorite of the two. So really I'm looking at these two the best. I think what I don't like about this one is how there's nothing going on behind the houses right here. So I have those house shapes. They look very generic, just a square, just a triangle, not as interesting as some of these other shapes that I have over here. Like 
this funky little shape right here, which is the 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 top of my moving van. And that's where that shape came from. So you get unique shapes if you look at the drawing that you created. And I think that's what I want to emphasize. So I think at this point, I'm going to go ahead and go with number three as my, um, my sample of what I'm going to do. And so that's the drawing that I'm going to pick for my final. Remember the importance of sending these to your teachers so your teacher can look at it, your teacher can give you those advices, and maybe go back and tell you to add it, maybe edit. So maybe some of them may look like this and not be the best, and they can give you some ideas on how to make that look better.